welcome students today we will learn about the convex mirrors and what are the ray diagrams for a convex mirror so first in order to do this first we generally know about convex mirror so what is a convex mirror if you take consider it as a sphere is it clear so the path of a sphere is nothing but forms a surface curved surface so that curved surface will be convex mirror so how to identify how, how we can say that which part of a convex so suppose if you paint the sphere inside if you paint the sphere inside is it clear and cut a part of it is it clear so now how it will be it will be in this shape so this part will be painted and this part will be smooth and it will be reflecting in nature so that means the part of a sphere which is reflecting by the outside surface is nothing but called as a convex mirror so for a convex mirror the inside will be painted and the outer side will be reflecting in surface so by this we can say that the bulged surface will be reflecting surface in the convex mirrors and next how to find out the pole and focus of focus and center of curvature of a convex mirror see now you will x mirror now where the center and focus of this mirror will be present either it will be inside the mirror or outside the mirror can you guess it no is it clear so see always remember that the center of curvature and focus will be inside the sphere that means they will be inside the curved surface that means see suppose little of max this is a sphere is it clear so where will be the center it will be inside the sphere is it clear not outside is it clear same like that so now this is a curved part that means it is a part of sphere so if you imagine this and draw as it it as a sphere you can find the center so the center will be behind the mirror that means it will be inside the curved surface is it clear so now so this is a convex mirror and the geometric center of the mirror is nothing but called as pole and all the normals where they meet is nothing but center of curvature and focus all the reflected rays where they meet is nothing but a focus is it clear so this will be the center of curvature and this will be focus is it clear now these are the terms related to the convex mirror and always convex mirror forms a virtual and erect images now we will see how to draw ray diagrams for convex mirror we will see the ray diagrams for convex mirrors so as we have seen but for drawing of concave mirror ray diagrams for a concave mirror what we have seen we have seen six conditions is it clear and also we have learnt about four ray diagrams is it clear that means four rays conditions for rays to travel is it clear so in that first ray is r1 so first ray is r1 now we will see about how the r1 ray will travel so what is the r1 ray ray traveling parallel to the principal axis parallel to axis what happens after reflection passes through focus is it clear so what is the r1 ray the ray travels parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it passes through focus this is the r1 ray now for convex mirrors we will see how the ray diagram will be see now so this side will be the reflecting surface if i place an object here and if i draw a ray does it reflect no so always the object should be placed in front of a reflecting surface that means object should be placed in front of the reflecting surface is it clear so as for the convex mirror this is the reflecting surface so i am extending this line is it clear that is nothing but a principal axis line i am extending now i am placing an object over here somewhere you can place it is it clear so let this have be infinity okay now so i am drawing the ray r is it clear so what is the ray r the ray traveling parallel to the principal axis so what happens after reflection it has to pass through focus is it clear but what happens when it is passing as the reflecting surface is met so what happens 
it gets diverged. Why it is diverged? Because it is a convex mirror. So I already have said you in convex mirrors while drawing what we need to do? We need to extend the reflected ray so that we get the point of image. Is it clear? So now here what I am doing is I am extending the reflected ray. That means this reflected ray So what happens? This reflected ray, when I am extending it backwards, it is passing through focus. That is R1 ray. What? When it is travel parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it diverges. But when you extend it, it passes through the focus. This is the R1. So now second ray. That is R2. What is R2? Ray traveling through focus. After reflection, should travel parallel to the principal axis. Is it clear? So now I am drawing a ray. That is I am incidenting ray which is passing through focus. Is it clear? So what happens? See the ray is coming over here and but in the travel, in the meanwhile what happens? It gets reflected by the convex surface. So what happens? It will diverge. Is it clear? So now can I get the Focus. See, now what I am doing is, I am extending the ray. That means this ray, I am extending it backward. So that it passes through focus. Is it clear? So now, at this point, what happens? From this point, at the normal, again it starts to travel parallel to the principal axis. What is R3 ray? The ray which travels through center of curvature. So what happens when a tra ray travels from the center of curvature? Now R3. So what is R3? The ray which passes through center of curvature. So already we have learned what the ray which is passing through center of curvature will be reflected back in the same path but in opposite direction. Is it clear? So now I am considering a ray which is traveling which is passing through center of curvature. That means now I am considering a ray which is passing through center of curvature. So while it is coming what happens? The reflected surface of the convex mirror will make it to diverge. Is it clear? So as it is the normal at this point, it will diverge in the same direction. Is it clear? So now what I am doing it to get the image. What I will do? I will extend the ray backward. Is it clear? So when you extend the ray backward, it will pass through center of curvature. So these are the three rules. That is three rules for convex mirror. Another one we have R4 that is nothing but the uh, ray which is passing through pole or which is incident at pole. Is it clear? So when the ray is passed through pole what happens? It will travel in the same path but in opposite direction. Now we will draw a ray diagram that is position by taking position of object at certain point. See this is a convex mirror. So now I am placing an object. See, now I cannot say the positions like it, will, it is between P and F, it is between P, F and C, it is beyond C. Why? Because those all will lie behind the mirror. Is it clear? But I need to place the object in front of the mirror. So some ray diagrams for convex mirror. So this is the convex mirror. I am placing the object in front of the mirror. So I don't know this where it has been because by pole and center of curvatures and focus will lie inside the mirror. Is it clear? So now I am placing the objects. Let us suppose this at infinity or some other point. Is it clear? So now I have placed an object A, B at this position. So now I am drawing a ray R1. So R1 is a ray which travels parallel to the principal axis. What happens? After reflection, it passes through focus. As in a convex mirror, what happens when it meets the reflecting surface, it gets diverged from the normal. Is it clear? So now what I have to do? I have to draw the 
ray backward which ray only the reflected ray not the incident ray so i will extend the reflected ray backward so that it passes through focus so this is the r1 is it clear now next i am drawing a ray which is passing through focus that is r2 is it clear so let this be r2 so r2 it is passing through focus so what happens after reflection what happens it has to travel parallel to the principal axis is it clear so now when it has met the surface that is convex surface what happens it gets diverged so here also see now here it should pass through focus so i am drawing it a extended line so that it passes through focus so uh, at this point what happens it has been reflected so what it has to be do it has to pa travel parallel to the principal axis is it clear so now so what happens it uh, here this will be parallel to the principal axis so now you can be misguided why because see here i have drawn the ray r2 passing through focus so this is the incident ray so these both lines are meeting at this point so some students will say that this is the image but this is not the image why because at this point after reflection this ray r2 will travel parallel to the principal axis is it clear so now so what are the reflected rays so this is reflected ray r2 and this is reflected ray r1 is it clear so where these two points have met here this is the point where they met so this is the image of point b is it clear so now if i want to find the image of a what i need to do i need to draw a perpendicular line from this to the principal axis so let this point be a is it clear so i will get the image at a b is it clear so when you compare this image with the object see how is the image it was a erect image that means it is ab and it is also ab and what was the size it was a diminished size is it clear so now you can say that always convex mirrors will form a erect image and diminished image and also can i see this image on the screen no we cannot see this image on the screen why because this is the image formed by extending the rays backwards so what type of an image it is it is a virtual image is it clear so these are the characteristics we got when we place the object at infinity is it clear now if i am placing the object over here so i got a diminished image so if i place the object very near to the mirror like same like in concave mirror how we have placed it between p and c in p and f uh, f and c and beyond c so like that can we consider the cases here no here we cannot consider the cases we can consider only the case that is in front of the mirror so for your understanding we will do a ray diagram by placing the object near to the mirror convex mirror p f c so for your better understanding i am extending this ray and i am considering that this points same as like this that means for your easy understanding but these conditions does not exist is it clear so now i am placing the object so i will place the object at infinity now i am placing the object very near to the mirror is it clear so it is very near to the mirror is it clear so now i am drawing the ray diagram so first is r1 what happens it travels parallel to the principal axis and gets reflected is it clear so now i am extending the ray backward so next is r2 so this was r1 is it clear now i am drawing the r2 r2 is the ray should pass through focus so if you assume this this is passing through focus so what happens when it meets the convex surface it gets reflected so now here after meeting the surface it has to travel parallel to the principal axis 
So, I am extending the ray backward. Is it clear? So, this is the point we got. This is R2. Is it clear? So, from this point, if I draw a perpendicular line, then it, be, it meets principal axis. So, this is A. Now, this will be the size of the image. See, here also, I got the image of AB at here. So, this is nothing but the size is smaller than the object size. That means, it is a diminished image. And, where you can see the image? So, always for convex mirror, the image will be formed between P and F. However, in the last diagram also you can consider, it was formed between P and F. Is it clear? So, if you place the object very near, it will be near to the focus. If you place the object far away from the mirror, it will be near to the pole. Is it clear? But always the image will be formed between P and F of the convex mirror.